Community health centers are often called federally qualified health centers and they're community clinics that provide comprehensive primary health care to low-income working families and those in need in communities all around the nation. In my county, our community health center is extremely important. If we didn't have it, a large number of my constituents would be without the ability to get local health care services except through the emergency room. District 4 in San Juan County is very rural and to some degree frontier. And the accessibility is so lack that the health center is the, really the, the primary focal point for primary care. It's important, I think, for uh, legislators at any level uh, to go to community centers and, and see what's going on there. Is this a good idea? Has it worked? Is it a good use of federal funds? Is it a good niche? Has it filled the niche that it was intended to do? Community health centers have a broad array of financing, and federal funding typically makes up 20% or less of the revenues at a community health center. The federal monies and state monies invested into community health centers often help pay for the cost of caring for uninsured individuals, but they don't fit the entire bill, and uninsured individuals pay for care on a sliding fee scale based on how much they can afford. Most patients want to contribute to the cost of their care and to share in that. Just because you have health insurance doesn't mean that you have access to care. And one of the great things about community health centers is they provide that access to care. Community health centers often will locate a site right on a bus line so that a low-income working family can get to the clinic to see their doctor and get their health care. Well, community health centers in Washington State serve pretty much the picture of their community in uh, inner city Seattle down by the Pike Street Market. It very much looks like the people who live in and around there, and they look like the community. In my community, they serve a great number of people who have very good health insurance, but cannot find a physician. I'm very impressed by how many people they serve and the broad array of services that they have there, from just the basic medical care to dental, to vision, to mental health. It's great that it's a one-stop shop for my constituents. We've seen all kinds of information that unfortunately it's our Medicaid population that seems to utilize the ER, seems to utilize hospitalization more. In the state of Colorado, approximately a third of all Medicaid patients in the state receive their care at a community health center. If we can use the preventive services that are provided so beautifully at our community health centers, we're going to be able to lower the utilization of our Medicaid population from going to hospitals, uh, from going to the emergency room. Community health centers can be that medical home for those constituents so they can get that care that they need. One of the most unique things about a community health center is that they're required by federal law to be community owned and operated. 51% or more of the board of directors at a community health center must be patients or consumers of that community health center. I serve on the board of my community health center. It gives me great insight to the individuals and the challenges that uh, working individuals and poor individuals and uninsured individuals have. Having a community-based board helps them to understand what the needs of their community are. These targeted clinics usually are placed in areas where there's just not any access to, to traditional primary care because there's market failure. Community health centers don't place themselves to push others out of the marketplace, but they go to where low-income working families are and they set up shop there. Community health centers provide tremendous value to the community. They do a great job of managing chronic illnesses and providing preventative care that eventually saves money in the system by reducing emergency room utilization. For every dollar invested in a community health center, there is decreased expenditures in uh, hospitalizations and the use of the ER. There are a lot of communities where the community health center and the local hospital have teamed up to make sure that if a client came into the emergency room for an issue that could be handled at the community health center, that's where they were sent. 
health centers provide high quality care at a relatively low cost. It costs less than $2 a day for a community health center to serve and provide comprehensive care to a patient. They have to run efficiently. That uh, They only get so much money coming in to their organization and uh, so they need to make every dollar work as effectively as they can for the operation. We have a shortage of primary care providers and if the community health center hadn't been there, I don't know what we'd do. Community health centers are not immune from provider shortages. Provider shortages are well documented throughout the nation. Community health centers do, however, do some unique things that attract providers to working at a community health center. First and foremost, because community health centers are mission-oriented organizations delivering health care. Secondly, providers at a community health center have access and coverage of their medical malpractice liability by a program called the Federal Tort and Claims Act, FTCA. That's very attractive. And thirdly, there are numerous loan repayment and scholarship programs that provide financial incentives for doctors, dentists, and nurses to come serve at a community health center. The community health centers are under the Federal Tort Claims Act. So if there's a malpractice action brought against one of their doctors, the doctor doesn't need to worry about malpractice and is it going to ruin him financially. As well, it means that the doctor does not have to practice defensive medicine for unnecessary procedures that you find in the fee-for-service medicine. So that's very valuable. I think community health centers are increasingly becoming teaching sites for the future workforce in healthcare. Well, the health department has a recruitment retention program where we actually are trying to buddy up the need of the community in the underserved area with a provider who is willing to provide that service. So we become a broker. Washington State has had a lot of success when we've done that kind of recruitment of people settling in the community and becoming part of the routine health care to that community. I think the Affordable Care Act will make community health centers even more important. Community health centers, I think, are going to play an increasingly important role as the access uh, to insurance by the population expands. Community health centers hope to go from being the health care home for 20 million people to serving 40 million people. Community clinics are an important part of what we're doing here in Washington State in our health insurance exchanges. They're a provider. They've been in communities for 30 or more years. So it's absolutely critical that community clinics be at the table as we develop the health insurance exchanges. We're gonna have about seven, eight percent of our people who are still going to be uh, without insurance. In order for them to get health care, to get treatment, they will have to go to a community health center. I think the ideal relationship between a state health official and the community health center is really one that's based on communication and relationship. To me, an ideal relationship between a legislator and uh, the people who operate the community health centers is making sure that there is some appropriation from the state level going to the community health centers. If you are a new legislator who's interested in getting good outcomes for the dollars that you're spending, if you're a legislator who's interested in seeing that people have more health care available to them, then it's worthwhile for you to go to the community health center. You get a lot of criticism of federal involvement in health care, particularly right now. And of course, I'm from a red state and I don't like the PBACA. However, I do see the benefit of targeted intervention. And I can tell you from my experience, the federal health care clinic that I called on filled the niche it was intended to, to fill.